Welcome back guys to another video on this I have a question series. Today's video is going to be about why is it so important to rely on God for strength and to not always try to make, try to fix things yourself because a lot of times we try to do a lot of these things ourselves and it brings us to a breaking point that we're not able to come out of. So with that being said, please like, put a comment, put post notifications that way you can know when other videos like this happen or I mean post and that way you can be more informed on these questions that are going to help you build up your faith. So with that being said, um, here goes the preaching. I had to go through this question myself. I had to go through this whole scenario myself and I like to do deal with things first like before I'm able to help others because I have to make sure my house is clean before I try to go clean someone else. I'm not saying that I'm cleaning it specifically but you get the Bible verse that I'm referring to and I can leave it right here. Now with that being said, it's so vital that we always rely on God. We, when you're at the breaking point, when you, you feel like you can't do this anymore, go and speak to God. Literally, most of the time, the answer is right there. The answer is literally right in front of you. But sometimes we don't take the time to look because we're so focused on the problem. We're so focused on what's weighing us down that we don't notice that we have someone that's with his hands out in the wire to pick us up. So instead of just focusing on the problem and focusing on how you can't do this anymore, Go to God. Go say, God, I can't do this. Go to his word. Start praying. Go look at a preaching. Look at a sermon. And most of the time, God will speak through those things. Most people say, well, I haven't heard God before. I haven't heard God. And so he must not care about me. When most of the time, he's always speaking. He's always speaking. Even if it's a small whisper, even if it's through someone else. But most of the time, we want to feel, we, we let pride get to us and say, God, I need a direct answer from you. I need you to tell me right now. I need you to prove to me that you're God and answer me right now. And we can see that at the two, the two thieves at the Calvary at the cross. One of them was demanding, God, prove me that you're God. And if you're God, just take this bump off this cross and he, help yourself. While the other thief said, don't you see? He has done nothing wrong. We are the thieves here. And remember me, Lord, when you go to heaven and when you rise, remember me when you're in paradise. And that's when Jesus turned around and said, hey, for that, you will see paradise with me. And that's what we have to do when we're at that breaking point. Instead of asking God, why, why, why? Tell God, I can't do this anymore. Tell God, I know you're the living God. Save me. Leave a spot for me. And the Lord will listen. He will hear. Literally, what happened to me, I was at a breaking point. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I backtracked. And I was like, man, why did I let this happen? And then I go and literally... I look at the word because not only that I look at the word, I look at sermons, I look at other preachers, I look at other word around, I pray, and then I look, I go on Instagram, and literally the answer that I was looking for, the question that was troubling me, the testimony that I needed to hear was literally the same day that I couldn't even, that I said, I can't do this anymore. Literally. And I was like, man, if I only would have just trust on God instead of trusting in my own power, then, man, many things would have been different. I wouldn't have backtracked as I thought I was going to. I hope you know what I'm trying to say here. So we can see that with the two thieves. One of them wanted God to prove himself and save him. The other one wanted just paradise and believe that God was God. And that's what we have to do. Now, with that being said, it's pretty much a short lesson here and it's more self-explanatory. Let this word sit into you. Let, let, let the seed fall on fertile ground and don't let your heart harden. Let it be as flesh. That way God can work through you. Let God work through you. When you can't do it anymore, when you can't find the strength to muster up, when you say, I had enough, I can't do this anymore. When you say that you can't, God says that I can. So with that being said, thank you all for watching this short little video. I hope you like these little style of videos. Drop a comment if you like and things that a little, a little cooler background i just got done getting this cold pro that way i can get more interesting footage as i preach that way i can reach more people and keep that retention uh, i'm looking through the analytics and um, i'm trying to keep that retention because most of the important stuff most of the word is literally in the middle and towards the end and i want to make sure y'all are blessed so with that being said thank you for watching another video uh, i'm gonna pray right quick for y'all just in case any of y'all need prayer and if y'all need prayer, feel free to drop a comment down below. But with that being said, 
God, thank you for these people who are watching this right now, Lord. Thank you for these viewers, Lord. I know you have a plan for their life. You have an amazing plan set for them, Lord. A plan that may even be greater, that's probably greater than what you have me doing, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you give them the strength, that you give them the patience, that you give them the faith when they don't have faith, that you are faithful when we are faithless, Lord. And Lord, I pray that you bless them, Father. I pray that you show yourself to them in a way that they never knew was possible, Lord. Give them strength right now, Lord. Give them peace, Lord. Peace that goes beyond understanding, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray. Thank you for their lives. Keep them protected. Send your ministering spirits towards and go. Let them encamp around them, Lord. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you guys for watching this video. And just stay tuned for more videos. I know the next video is gonna be another TBM Forage place is, is probably right over here that way you can see a word while i'm making knives so with that being said god bless